What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day. Get ready to go green with envy. Did I say go or grow? I meant grow. Grow green with envy. That's because the new iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, this is an iPhone 11, are going to have features in the camera that most likely you will not get on the new Samsung phones or maybe not even any other Galaxy or any Android phone, period throughout the rest of 2020. Now this tweet comes from Pine Leak saying, as stated in a report together with everything Apple Pro, we were able to discover evidence of 4K 120 and 4K 240 frames per second video modes inside the latest iOS beta 14 beta one file system. In accordance to that, we believe that the upcoming iPhone will allow for 4K 120 native video recording. Can't do that with the Galaxy phones and these have some of the fastest processors out right now with the Snapdragon 865. The Note phone's gonna have the 865 plus. I don't think it's going to get it. I'll be surprised if they get the 4K 120 or 4K 240. Pretty crazy, so if you're looking for an ultimate experience video wise with like slow motion and stuff, you're gonna wanna get the iPhone this year most likely. Speaking of the Galaxy Note 20, let's talk about all the Galaxy devices that are gonna be released this year that are gonna have the Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is an overclocked 865, meaning better, faster performance. This tweet comes from Ice Universe saying, but Samsung seems to have eaten half of the Snapdragon 865 Plus processors, Note 20 series, Tab S7 series, Fold 2, Z Flip 5G will use the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. Now you shouldn't see huge leaps and bounds over the S20 series that has a Snapdragon 865, but it's always nice to get a little bit more performance out of the phones. Isn't that right, Finn? Now it wants to be quiet. And the last story of the day potentially might make you upset about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra phone and its display. Now this tweet comes from Ice Universe. Note 20 series has completely solved the camera focusing problem. That's amazing, because as you know, S20 Ultra has focusing issues at times. Note 20 series seems to have fixed that, but he says WQHD plus 120 Hertz is still not optimistic. So what it sounds like he's saying is that 120 Hertz might not be on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra phone. With all these rumors the last couple of weeks and months going over that it will have it, it sounded like it won't per him and he's got a great track record. But again, we've heard differently as well. What do you guys think? That's your question of the day. First of all, are you still gonna upgrade to this phone, the Note 20 Ultra, if it doesn't have WQHD Plus at 120 hertz? Or are you gonna upgrade? And I'll say it, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I run this at 1080p, 120 hertz, and looks completely fine. I don't know. Thanks for watching, see you down the road.